Well, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this uh, morning Survivor exit interview. Uh, my name is Gordon, your friendly neighborhood gaming guy slash uh, Survivor fella. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you get a chance, uh, like the video, subscribe to the to the to the channel. It, it helps us out a ton. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions about what's going on here, have any questions for the uh, competitors, drop me a line on Twitter uh, at Gordon Holmes. Yes, yes, at Gordon Holmes. Very creative, I know uh, that handle. So uh, without any further ado, and I get that was a little bit of a do. Uh, let's uh, get into today's Survivor exit interview. All right, I'm not scared of you. Yeah, you um, should be a little scared. Well, listen, you had Sydney. I told her to hold the door for me, and she did quite the job holding that door. <laughs> if you could keep the curses on, like, to thirty below, like, like she did, like forty some. So if you could just, because editing that out takes time. I know. I know. Don't worry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna be a good girl for you. All right, Tiffany. Welcome to my hangout. How's it going? It's oh, it's super. I'm doing great. How are you doing, Gordon? I'm I doing well. I lost a million dollars last night. Oh, uh, I know. The day after is kind of a roller coaster, I would imagine, emotionally. But now yeah, you're here well, with me, which it, so that it just got worse. So I apologize for that. It's all right. I like that. All right, Bring let's it. get into this. Uh, so you're like, let's start off uh, last week. Your alliance uh, telegraphed uh, that Xander had the idol so much that it blew my mind that Liana thought he still had it. She knew that you knew about the advantage. So why do you think she went along with it when he's literally dangling an idol right in front of her face? Um, not smart, dumb, bad. Like she's not dumb, she's very bright. Mm. It was, she was so blinded by this Xander wanting to get him out. She was, I think that has to do with like a little bit of her age, not being able to control her emotions and wanting to make this big, big, huge move. Like she was gunning for Xander from Yasa day one. So this was her moment. And I was gonna blow that up because are you kidding? I've been keeping this girl from going crazy over Xander for like days, right? And she's gonna go after him, obviously, no matter what, I saw it. Right? So I, so just to be clear, Gordon, I know I, this is brutal, but Xander, Evie and I created that plan. So Xander got a lot of credit for that. <laughs> but let me tell you how that went down. Who found out about that vote? Me, right? Mm -hmm. What you don't know is that go, when we sent her to go see Shan, right? We sent them on their thing. She was supposed to give Shan that idol because we were pulling Ua in with us. She then goes there, keeps it for herself, forgets to tell Shan that she's not telling us, tells Shan she's super tight with us, screws it up, and I become her target because she lied to me. What? I, what? Like you, <laughs> what? Like you blew up our plan and now it blew up on you, right? So there's that. Now I find out about it. I go right to Evie. She's my ride or die. And I'm like, Evie, listen. And her and I were lockstep in strategy talk. I'm like, she's going for it. You know, she's, she's biting on that. She, she's like chomping at that bit to get him out. I'm like, listen, we cannot get, we got to take that from Xander. Can't be on this person. She's going to go right after his ass. So Evie and I together were like, that's it. Can't give it to you, Evie. Evie, everybody knows you two are tight. Give it to me. You don't see any of that. What you do see is Xander's performative. Here's the fake idol, which by the way, Gordon, I think he made for me, like when we were at Yasa, when he was trying to hide his love idols from me, like, really dude so like then he comes out with that he does this thing where he goes to danny and nearly screws up his whole plan like why would you do that and then holding it like here like are you like if you're liana how are you not reading the room yeah i'll never that that's gonna be a thing and and my understanding is when you're holding the idol and you're holding the extra vote that is your idol and that is your extra vote um, did it ever occur? Did you ever think about maybe I should keep it or, or were you worried that would just like set off too many enemies? So understand there were big alliances that myself and Evie and Xander were not a part of. So for us to be super tight, it was without moving. It's me, Evie, Xander, his, his idol and his extra vote. To me, that's a good five something to like deal with and work with. We could pull someone in. It's not that big a deal. We just need to last two more votes. That's it right? We can do this. So did I think about it? My first thing was, all right, here's what we're going to do. It's his. I am going to show him loyalty and I am not going to play that. Don't think in my head, I was like, Tiffany, you 
to it. Because if Evie got voted out, I was really screwed. But I just, I, I let it go. I said, everything else in this fucking game has been luck. So you know what? Let's hope she stays in, right? You know, good luck. Like, so she stays in, thank God, right? We go back and I'm thinking, dude, we can do so much awesome shit now. And he doesn't talk to me at all. I give him back his stuff. Everything is good. Bye-bye. Never speaks to me again. Mm -hmm. Now, last night, um, Heather told you to trust her during last night's live tribal, <laughs> hashtag live tribal. Uh, in hindsight, do you think that was all a ruse to get the idol oh. players to play their idols? Or do you think she was really targeting this year? Oh, my God. That was not a ruse. And I've done this so many times today, Gordon. But, like, when Heather's sitting next to you and she says, don't move, you better get up so freaking fast that your ass is burning. Because that is, like... That's about as red as the flag as Liana not seeing that Xander was acting, right? I was like, mm. I'm up. They don't show it. I got up so fast. You've never seen anything like it. And I jump up like a freaking whack-a-ball. I'm like, this, I got to go run around and do something, right? So I'm running around. I'm trying to talk to everybody and, you know, listen, everybody. I was like, anybody want to like talk to me? I'm here, free agent. And I end up trying to um, talk to Xander and he does this to me. Nope, I don't talk to you. I was like, what is happening? So with Heather, here's the thing. I think she was trying to keep me safe. Wait for it. She didn't do a good job because she ends up almost voting herself nope. off the island. <laughs> and now the vote, instead of being split between me and Xander and hopefully sending Xander home, becomes between me and Heather, right? So, which is so stupid. We have nothing on us, like no. so stupid. This is the second time you've mentioned Xander shutting you down. Do you think that all had to do with Deshaun uh, telling him that Evie had told him about the idol at the okay. uh, Island of Excessive Advantages? Okay, the idol of stupid advantages and dumb twists and luck. Okay, <laughs> here's what I think. How stupid do you have to be to let that shut you out of my life and out of Evie's life? Hmm. Everybody knows you had it. You said this, that wasn't information, it wasn't new. At the end of the, yes, she said it to him, but it didn't matter. They already knew he had it because everybody's now waiting to say it. So what did she actually do? Zero. Mm -hmm. now, and uh, after 13 days, you let that sway you like stupid. Stupid. Now, um, you know, you've got this monster alliance uh, against you. Uh, did, did you, what went into the decision to not roll the friendship as magic die? Okay, let me tell you about that stupid, stupid thing that I forgot I even had. <laughs> <That's the laughs> And you would think Jeff would be like, okay, it's time to vote. Remember, you have your shot in your dark seat. You know, like, I'm like, oh, no, nobody said anything. So here's what happened. It was such a show at camp. So I'm assuming it's going to be between me and Xander, and they should want to get Xander out, right? With the numbers and Liana having this freaking crazy obsession to get him out, you would think, right? So I'm like, all right, worst case scenario. Xander plays his idol. I, it might end up being a tie between me and maybe Heather. Like, there was a lot going on. And I wasn't really a target. I was more of like, let's just split it on her kind of thing from what I was hearing. Then I heard it's Nasir. Then I start seeing people fighting on, on land. Like it was a mess. And I'm like, this girl is gonna shut her face right now. I'm gonna shut my mouth and just not say a word. Let's see what happens. So going in, it seemed like it was Nasir. Mm -hmm. When Heather jumps up like that, I'm like, oh, sh it's definitely not Nasir. It's gonna be split between me and Xander. Xander is clueless and seems to not, he's, he was a little unaware, okay? But seemed to be feeling safe enough to not use his idol. So I ask you this, why not use it on me after I showed you loyalty the night before? Use it on me. Now we have an extra vote advantage. We have Heather in my corner. You see, she's parading around for me, even though votes me off, what? What? And Liana votes for me? I, I mean, mind blown, right? Like what in the actual F is going on? So like, seriously, like this is like Survivor 101. Did you guys just get here? Have you never watched this show? It's bad enough that the Yas is split because you all know you should have stuck together. But okay, with that being said, we can do this. We can come back. It was, there was no acting there. He was out on us. It was done. And honestly, it was a mess. I would have used my shot in the dark if I felt very up against the wall, but I, I thought I would Sydney myself. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, it might be. And you know what? Heather's prancing around for me, but if she didn't put my name down, it would have been a freaking 
split. It would have been four four. Sydney's gonna love that you turned her name into a verb. Uh, <laughs> we, we do a uh, we do a word association here to get to know your tribe mates a little bit better. I'll give you someone's name. Give me the first word, a couple words that pops into your head. Uh, we'll start off with Evie. Um, amazing. Heather. Um, strange. Xander. Performative. Danny. Lovely. Erica. Smart. Liana. Um, unaware. Nasir. Cute. Eric. Um, vacation. Okay. Uh, Sydney. Energetic. Uh, Shan. Bossy. Deshaun. Baby. Uh, Ricard. Annoying. And uh, let's finish off with uh, Voce. Brilliant. Okay. Now, th there are a lot of relationship moments that we're not seeing. Uh, la just last week, uh, Sydney told us that you and her were besties, even though when what we watched uh, on the show it seemed like she didn't like you. Uh, and then we learned that she couldn't stand Heather. Uh, so what other relationship notes uh, are we not seeing out there? Um, Evie and I were lockstep. They made it look like Liana and I were a tight two. It was me and Evie, which is why I was able to pull off that Boche boat because I knew that Evie had everybody in her corner and I knew I had Evie. So as long as I had Evie, I had Xander. And so Xander was much easier to manip manipulate. Voce was super, super smart and strategic. Liana didn't want her name out there. She flipped things around. It was crazy. Voce got paranoid, ran around the idol, ran around the island. He's smart. I was like, uh-oh, I'm going to be, he threw my name out there. That was it. So, um, yeah, like, I don't know. Like it was, I don't know. What am I okay. answering? I forgot. <laughs> Just um, uh, relationship moments that we missed. Oh, oh, so me and Evie were, I mean, if I had to describe like a love of my life from the show, mm -hmm. Evie, like I, we were just, it, it's like, it's like, I think she might be like, maybe my dad had an affair and, and she's like my sister or something. And we don't know. I'm just, I, I uh, it was like instantaneous. Um, and Boche and I are besties. I love the guy to death. Um, and Sydney is, hyst I, we were so hysterical laughing that the boom would come in and be like, hell no, these two are probably saying something totally inappropriate. Like, we are not gonna listen to these two. We were laughing, we were peeing in our pants. It was crazy. You and Evie need to do some kind of like 23 and me to get to the bottom of that. I know, uh, I love Evie. She is just fantastic as, she's, as she seems. Okay. Now, um, the, my, my understanding is the reaction to last week's time warp got pretty heated and we didn't get to see much of that. Uh, what, what did we miss? What, what happened when, uh, when the, the, the winning tribe was told they were, had to compete for immunity? Uh, Danny was pretty freaking hot. Um, of course, I was like, yippee! I finally <laughs> won something! <laughs> You're like, like, what oh, a great God, twist. I wish, was, I wish this was the balance beam one. Why does it have to be? I'm good with my feet. I'm like a capuchin monkey with my feet. So I was like, of all ones, I have to sit out. I have to sit out this one, which I could like pick up tiny little dimes off the floor with my feet. My husband's like, I can't believe it. So I was just so happy that I won something, which was actually a loss because it messed everything up. We were three Yasa safe. We needed to get somebody out on Luvu so bad. And I don't know, like keeping them safe at that moment, it took out a strong play. It was designed to take out like a strong player. It was weird. It was messed up. And the lines got all screwed up again because of it. And then there was no time to even get to know people on merge. Like, there was no footing. And every time you tried to have footing, you were outlucked. So it was like, and that is such a good word because there was a lot of luck going on out there. Yep. And I wasn't on the side of it, yep. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, uh, people were gunning you for you from, from, from day one. So to hang in there as long as you did, I think speaks, uh, speaks very well of your, your game. And uh, Tiffany, I know you got a really busy morning. So I want to thank you so much for your time. This has been a lot of fun. Thanks, Gordon. <laughs> Take care. I have so much bleeping to do now. You well, you know, I was good. I was good. Mm. Mm, there was a few. This is why I didn't win. <laughs> yes. I, nobody who swears has ever won Survivor. Darn Not it. Once. I thought I was being so good. You were Part better than Sydney. I'm, I'm a New Yorker. Better than Sydney.